Hey everyone, I'm Lorenz and in this video I'm going to talk about some video games that have Black as their main title. Black and Bruised is solid but also kinda flat. The premise of the game is to be a funny boxing game. The characters are funny, you get all the game modes you will need, there are even power ups to spice the gameplay up, but somehow the game also feels shallow. The boxing, even if it's based on button combinations, still gets you into button mashing. The power ups though are a good idea, they space up the gameplay a little. There are 19 playable characters in the game, each with different stats and each with different backstories. Downside in the game are also the backgrounds which are too simple, it's way too basic. It's a revolving picture. So all in all, Black and Bruised is a solid boxing game that can become a button masher but it has nice humor with characters that have backstories in the game which means that the content does great on one part but not so great in other parts like for example the backgrounds. Still the game is solid and if it looks good to you, you will enjoy it. You won't call it a masterpiece or amazing but still you'll most probably reckon it as a good game. Black Cat is based on the anime and it brings a lot of injustice to it because while the anime is good, the game is bad, like really bad. Most people haven't even played an hour of it because of how bad it is. The game has the style of an RPG, you can choose to play as Eve or Trey. You get a lot of text based dialogue, you can roam around, though the roaming around is really basic and you also get combat. And the combat is horrible in the game. It's turn based and when you attack you need to press the button at the right moment to score some damage. You need to learn the patterns shown on screen and that's just terrible. And this mechanic not only is bad but it's also unfitting to the anime. The anime is epic, the game feels like the devs just slapped something together to get something out of a license. Gameplay wise they did a really poor job. And since fighting enemies in this style is basically the main thing you will do in the game, it means that the whole game is bad. Black Market Bowling, even if it sounds dangerous and intriguing, it's actually pretty much standard stuff. It's really hard to make a bowling game epic after all. The game doesn't have a story, so there's nothing fishy happening in the game, it's just 12 characters playing on 6 bowling lanes. And by constantly playing, you unlock all characters and lanes. The controls are good, it will be pretty difficult to screw up the controls in a bowling game since almost all of them use the tried and true formula anyway. So if you like the visuals, go for this one. It's a good bowling game, as most bowling games are. Black has a great premise, you're a commando guy sent on missions where you have to kill everyone on the spot. And there are plenty of destructible objects in the levels. Not everything is destructible, but still in a level filled with stuff, most objects can deal environmental damage if you shoot them. And it's cool, the controls feel like the usual shooter, which is great because Call of Duty or Medal of Honor controls are great. As flaws, the checkpoints are pretty far apart which will make you repeat even 15 minutes of gameplay and another flaw is that the game becomes harder by swarming you with more enemies, not because the gameplay is necessarily harder, which is kind of a lazy effort from the devs. But overall the game is great, it's epic, there are explosions everywhere and stuff that gets destroyed, you feel like a badass for taking out so many guys single handedly, so the game provides good times. In spite of some flaws, overall I recommend it. 